Hi there, I'm so happy you're here. Welcome back. In today's video, we will be talking about engineering economics. But before we jump into that, I would like to remind all of you with an engineering education from outside of the United States. If you are interested in evaluating your education in this country, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Click the link below and you can download it for free. A little note here, some states will allow you to sit for the exam before you can do your evaluation. And some states will ask for this evaluation to be done before you're approved to sit for the exam. It really depends on which state you are in. That being said, let's jump now into our example for today. In today's video, we will talk about the rate of return analysis. The rate of return on an investment is the interest rate that makes the benefit equals to cost. Therefore, the rate of return is the minimum acceptable rate of interest for an investment. If the interest rate is higher than the rate of return, the project will achieve profit. If the interest rate is lower than the rate of return, the project is not profitable. So let's work now on an example. A $10,000 bond has a maturity period of six years. The price of the bond is $5,000. What is the rate of return for the bond holder? So let's first see what do we know in this problem. We're giving a future amount of money, which is $10,000. We're giving a present amount of money, which is $5,000. And we're giving the number of years the bond will mature, which is six. So this problem becomes a converting problem. We can either convert a future amount to present or a present amount to future it's it's up to you and uh, from that formula we'll have to get the interest rate which is going to be the rate of return so let's see what are we going to choose we can either do convert to future given present or to present given future let's convert to future given present so I'll do, we'll convert to future given present. And we have interest rate, with, which we have to calculate. And the timeline is six years. So this becomes the future amount equals to the present amount times one plus interest rate power N. And from here, this results in $10,000 equals to the $5,000 times one plus I power six. From here we get one plus I power six equals to 10,000 over 5,000, which is two. So this problem, you can easily solve it on your calculator. But if you don't have a calculator, an easy way to solve this problem is you have to get this two to a form of n power six. And this is easily done by just doing some uh, trials and error. So I will do 1.12 power six. I get 1.9738. Okay, let me see if I get even closer to two. I get 1.121 power 6, 198, 4, 4. So I can go with 1.21, but I'll get even closer. 1.122 power 6, 1.995. So this is close enough. So I will do the following. 1 plus i power 6 equals to 1. 0.122 power 6. So now so we can just equal the parenthesis. 1 plus i equals to 1.122. And from here, i equals to 0 0.122, which result in 12.12%. And the correct answer is D. That is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps put this video in front of more people just like you. 
Keep on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.